Good afternoon, Ji, everyone. Yeah, like uh, my co-host uh, Dr. Lalit is here. And my colleague, my Chudi, uh, Dr. Shilpa is also here. So Lloyd Institute of Management and Technology, welcome all the participants, the students to this uh, webinar five of the series, where we are going to talk about the growing opportunities in pharmaceutical profession. And I'm really happy that we have Dr. Sanjay Rajpal, Country Manager, Head India and Countries with us as a speaker today. So... Moving further, so this is just a virtual bouquet <laughs> since we could not meet on a physical platform. Kindly accept it. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you very much. So, like before uh, you talk with the students, I would just like to give a brief snapshot of my institute with a kind permission. Mm -hmm. So, Lloyd Institute of Management and Technology has been established in the year 2004 with a vision of to become a globally recognized education and research institute in the field of pharmaceutical sciences and produce quality professional to contribute to the well-being of society and growth of pharmaceutical industry. The, in the year 2004, it was established and thereafter in the year 2010, we started with the post-graduation course in the subject M Farm Pharmaceutics and thereafter in quality assurance in the year 2011. In 2016, we started Neyukti, Lloyd Job Face, ya fir annual job mela, jise kaha jata hai, jaha pe aspas ki NCR region and other across colleges, students come over and they seek their uh, employer as well as employer seek their employees. So this is a platform where all meet together and Lloyd provides that platform and we're lucky to have this event every year annually. I mean, now. Uh, consecutively. In the year 2018, we made a collaboration with DIPSRU, that is a pharmaceutical research university for academic and research purpose. And uh, our BFARM course got the NBA accreditation, which is basically a milestone for the promoting the international quality standard for technical education in India. Thereafter, in year 2020, we started a diploma in law and pharmacy under national skill qualification framework and the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Government of India. In the year 2021, Lloyd Institute was established as approved research center under APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University. We were also the recipient of the best pharmacy college in Uttar Pradesh for outstanding and exemplary contribution towards education, skill development and research. And we were also lucky to start M Farm in another subject, which is pharmacology. We also had grown our campus and now we have basically two institutes. One is the Lloyd Institute of Management and Technology, which is called as Campus One. And another is Lloyd School of Pharmacy, which is known as Campus Two. So moving with these years of excellence in the recent history, we also collaborated with the Dale View College of Pharmacy and Research Center. And we are very sooner going to start undergraduate program in forensic sciences. This is some of our glimpses of the lab. Now, this is a modular lab where we have all sophisticated analytical instrument for the research purpose currently. We have also received Modrob, uh, and under it, we have established drug designing lab equipped with software League and Scout. And very recently, we also got the DSIR approval, which is recognition for the scientific and industrial research organization under the kind guidance of Professor Kanchan Kohli, who is looking after the research cell here, sir. And uh, some of our USP, which I have already stated, I can just put in the key points, NB accreditation, academic and research collaborations, which are still under process. Many of them are going on. We have skill development programs, GSIR approval, Neukti job phase. Besides that, we also have ISO 9001, 2015 approval for Lloyd Analytical and Research Facility. And we have competent and talented faculty. Uh, so this is all under because of the guidance of Dr. Vanna Arora Sethi. And um, so before uh, the audiences uh, get some experts from today's speaker, I would like to give a profile of today's speaker, Dr. Sanjay Rajpal, country manager, Vibesomet India Private Limited, who is looking after as head in India and the neighboring countries. He is graduated from the University of Delhi with science and master's in business management from Asian Management Institute, Philippines. He is doctorate in public health, Philippines. 
He is an alumni of National Institute of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. He's a certified insulin pump trained from Cardiff University, UK. He is a certified life coach from Grow More Coach Foundation. His forte, his research includes the training, his area, skill development, and team building. His founder and president of Diabetes Awareness Foundation, an organization which supports juvenile with diabetes. And currently, he is working with Swiss multinational Vipsumit as country manager, looking after strategy, operations, and business development for India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. So that's really a high profile, and we are lucky to have you, sir, here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, madam. Thank you very much. And now over to you. I hope you will take up the session now. Would you uh, take up, like, change the slides at your own? Or do you want me to take up the presentation as you comfortable, sir? No, even I can change on my own as well. And I'll just stop sharing. Give me just one second. Okay, okay. Now, now you can share yours, sir. Yes. Uh, my slides are, ma'am, visible? Yes, sir, they're quite visible. We're on the very first slide, yes. Perfect. Uh, so before, uh, thank you very much, uh, before I start the presentation, uh, first of all, Dr. Komud Madanchi, uh, for sharing the 17 years of excellence journey of Lloyd's Institute. Uh, that shows a very richness and experience. And you can say that uh, achievement uh, to be a part of any session of institute of such level. So pleasure thank you is us, sir. Pleasure is us. Sir. So uh, Dr. Lalit, thank you very much as well, uh, as well as the other respected faculty members. And as far as uh, my request to students, because I will talk session session, uh, not with the faculty. So my request is that uh, feel free uh, to ask any question, you can question up chat. Ma'am, is there a chat box available for writing a questions or something? Koi bhi question aapko ho, you feel free to ask me. So we do have the chat box, but we generally, uh, you know, prefer to enable it at the end of the session, as Perfect. you say. As Perfect. You say. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. No, no, that's, I respect that. Whatever the protocol, I respect that. But I must say that... Uh, uh, Ma'am, today the two best questions by the students. They will get a, a book authored by me. I will send to you so at the end. So can a faculty be a student for the day today? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no ma'am. Only for students today. Oh, okay. But uh, this book I want to give. Any, koi bhi do bachche jo properly. Ma'am will decide. You will decide. But these books will be sent to the madam. And she will hand it over. The two copies for especially for the students of today. So therefore my request is ki feel free, be attentive. And, uh, and I can promise you at the end of the time session, uh, you will go with some value addition. This is my promise. Yeah. I can understand ki aap sabhi ke dimag mein there are a lot of questions uh, in terms of why pharmacy, what is after pharmacy, whatever I do, D pharmacy, B pharmacy, what next? Because whatever we are doing, we all are looking for some career, some jobs, some opportunities so that we can bring uh, happiness, peace, progress in our life, as well as we can bring a sense of pride to our families as well. So I can, this question sabhavik hai. It has to be there, even including me. We all have these questions in our life. So I do respect that. And before I go to uh, that, what 
uh, you get career opportunities you get after doing pharmacy. I I can understand a lot of questions comes to our mind. Uh, any sensible person will have this kind of situation. So uh, I must say that uh, before the different career opportunities, uh, as in any field, whether it's pharmacy or any other field, you have to have a commitment that is mandatory. So same thing I expect even if you are devoting your time for this presentation, aap sab mein purnata lagan or commitment is very, very important. And there is no shortcut, no shortcut at all. And now it comes to that, uh, what are the opportunities? What anybody who comes from the pharmacy profession, they may have. Aapko mei slide dikh rahi hai. There can be different fields. One is biochemistry, biochemist, pharmacologist, molecular biologist. And now with the advent of this digital world, this technology world, these BPOs and KPOs are the things which were earlier not there in sector. Another options are in clinical trials because new and new molecules companies continue to bring. Healthcare is changing. We all have seen last two years, the COVID-19. Before that, we never, nobody in this group, I can promise you, nobody has ever heard before uh, this COVID-19 pandemic when came of before that we never saw this because this came maybe 115 years ago, something pandemic came out. So with this advent of newer diseases, newer viruses, definitely newer drugs has to come. Or jab nai drugs aane hai, nai medicines aane hai, nai vaccines aane hai, then this all require as per the mandatory rules, clinical trials has to be there. Because aap koi bhi pharmaceutical company or a healthcare company, before they launch the product, they have to have go through clinical trials. And these clinical trials require people from pharmacy background for sure. Not the doctors, they require people from pharmacy background. And first thing is CDSCO. CDSO stands for, in a simple term, FDA, Food and Drug Administration or Central Drug Supply Control Organization. Every country has got a CDSCO or FDA. And this is the authority, hoti hai, which is an organization. Koi bhi product ko launch karne se pehle, you have to have an approval from CDSCO. And anybody has got kisi ko idea agar nahi hai, to this CDSO headquarter in India is very close to ITO in Delhi. And CDSO, because newer drugs are coming up, they have come up with 862 vacancies. Only this has been come in the government gadget, 862 vacancies CDSO ne nikali hai, jo unko next 2022-23 mein fill karni hai. Then comes consultants. Consultant, when I say, jab aap pharmacy karte hain, or side by side, you take the regulatory understanding, how the regulatory system works. Regulatory means how the regulation works. Then people with pharmacy background can play a big role in, as a consultant. And I must tell you, these all consultants charge big money, not a small money. Ipsum at the company where, which I had, these consultants, we hire these consultants for many works uh, and they really charge a huge amount of fees. And this is not in thousand, this is in, you can say half a million rupees, one million rupees, this is the way how it works. So therefore, when it comes to career and when it comes to money as well, 
oh, this is a very good big scope. Third thing comes is the other fields are medical transcription field, bioanalyst, clinical research associates. Many companies, not only multinationals, even now Indian multinationals hire clinical research associates and clinical research scientists. And these are the very big departments full of pharmacy people. And besides this, one thing is not mentioned here because many drugs nowadays comes in specially packaged devices. Self-injecting pens, I will just show it to you. I must be having here, which, are, which our company makes. And these devices are not just launched. These devices has got a separate team in all these pharmaceutical companies, which work under the umbrella of packaging development department. And packaging does not mean that there are boxes ki packaging. How a drug is packed, this form made drug will come. So those kind of devices, are, I will uh, during I will just pick up from other table and share with you. So pharmacy people with a pharmacy background play a critical role in these departments. And you know, Indian pharmaceutical industry is very well respected. And not only in India, across the globe, even in the Western world, our Indian pharmaceutical, Indian, Indian multinational companies enjoys a very good repo. And these all Indian companies, pharmaceutical companies requires people from pharmacy background in many departments. Yes. And when, as I mentioned to you, these uh, new drug is launched, these drugs require approvals. There are two kinds of authorities. One is CDSCO, which is a central government. And every state, India has got 29 states. Every state government has got state FDA. And many of the mandates, product launch karne ki, product approvals karne ki, these are with state FDAs. And all these state FDAs requires drug inspectors and uh, assistant drug controllers, deputy drug controllers, and drug controller. And all these people are from pharmacy background. Not only one FDA in India, every state government come up with a, these kind of opportunities, these kind of openings, these kind of positions. And now I comes to that uh, product development. Whenever any product is launched, whether it's, uh, you can say, in terms of tablets, capsules, injections, and now vaccines, all these product developments has to go undergo a mandatory process of product licensing product branding, product management, uh, marketing management, and group product managers, all these people are from pharmaceutical background, pharmacy backgrounds, all. So therefore, maybe we think that the pharmacy ki window dekke, that somebody may become a pharmacist, somebody may get an opportunity in a particular hospital or dispensary mein, or in a pharmaceutical company. Mein. But if you go in depth, jab aap thoda sa gehrai mein jate hain, to these products jo hum log use karte hain, there is a big chain of professionals who work day and night. And I must tell you, uh, these companies pay a very decent amount of packages as well. Sir of job hi nahi, a very good amount of packages are given. Yeah. And as I mentioned to you that government also sees lot of opportunities of getting resources or funds from healthcare companies. Therefore, uh, there are huge opportunities in government sector as well. Jaisa maine aap se share kiya hai that uh, CDSCO, FDA, uh, CDSCO or FDA, 
has come up with approximately 800 opportunities for pharmaceutical companies, for backgrounds, and they have come. So, and besides these few five things mentioned here, government as India has got a special, you can say, research or the, you can say, clinical trial laboratories where any product which comes from anywhere in the world, these particular batches has to be tested in a government certified lab or uh, there is a very big lab in Noida. I must say that maybe once you are doing pharmacy, uh, Lloyd's Institute must arrange a visit of you uh, in that particular lab. Uh, and every product has to be tested from that laboratory. So again, that lab has got amazing number of pharmacists working in different departments. If you go to Noida campus, government, it's a government lab. And you see what a huge campus they have. Uh, what a really green campus and so many people work there. So these are the live opportunities besides I'm sharing with you that besides these five things mentioned that go analyst, drug inspector, research institutes, hospital pharmacist and uh, DBT, CSIR, there are many more other I will share in the coming slides. Yeah. So in between besides this number, as I started in my presentation, whatever you do, aap koi bhi career chunay, koi bhi department chunay, whether it's government, it's public sector, or a corporate, or even as a student, you have to be committed. When it's committed, means just me bhi aapko dena, you have to give your 100%. And 100%, it is must. You can read, if you can see the slide, you have to be loyal to your parents, to your faculty, to your college, to your institute, to your teachers. You should have high moral values. Nothing, never, never, never taking anything below which gives disrespect. Values, faithfulness, these things are very, very important. You come to uh, any go to any field. Other thing is learning. You anyone at any age group, you may be 20 years, 23 years, 27 years, including me. We all sh must be open to learning. If we feel who cares? Ki madam kya this attitude doesn't work. We all should be humble towards learning. And third thing is uh, the if uh, importance of having a positive attitude. It is very easy to find mistakes. Galtia nikalna bahut asan hai. Aray boss, yahan ye nahi ho raha hai. This is not happening. It is very simple job to find mistakes. Jab aap eight finger point out karte hain saamne ki or, char finger aap ki bhi or aati hain. Bhoot easy aap ke liye mistakes nikalna kisi mein. Simple job. You can criticize anyone. Because it's a simple job. But that does not help. If any, everybody of all of us ke paas positive attitude is mandatory not obligatory. It has to have. Even in your personal life, not only uh, student life, professional life, wherever you are, aap ghar pe hain, apne friends ke saath hain, apne family ke saath hain, road of life is never smooth or never straight. And when road is never smooth, there are bound to be ups and downs. But students, people, professional who win, who has got the positive attitude. As Dr. Kumud Madan mentioned in the beginning, I had Ipsomet, uh, this organization. Ipsomet is a Latin word. Ipso stands for self and med for medication, right? And what do you think that 
handling these five country just i sit on the laptop and then relax have a cup of coffee and go no every day something comes up but purpose is to find the solution so therefore this is very very important and especially uh, in now today's world when challenges are huge across the table other thing is that uh, whatever position you are whatever status you are whatever family you belong to uh, we all need to be humble means chahe aap apne kisi student apne co student se baat karte hain even agar aap apne college ke kisi staff se bhi baat karte hain the staff who is at the gate the staff who is a support staff not only faculty you one should be humble to everyone aisa nahi hai ki if you have the director of the college then you are humble if you are talking to some staff you are not humble no way uh i would like to share one personal example uh of our switzerland headquarter whenever i go to ipsomed headquarter in switzerland usually i go two to four times in a year and wahan par aisa koi culture nahi hota hai ki that you will press the bell and somebody will get a coffee for you even if i go to the switzerland headquarter if i go to our ceo's office he asked me sanjay would you like to have a cup of coffee if i say yes then the culture is like this that we both will go to the coffee machine he will ask sanjay coffee cappuccino cafe latte espresso whatever coffee we need we will pick up the cup of coffee then coffee peene ke baad hum log apna cup khud wahan par washing sink mein leke aayenge to clean karenge there is no such kind of culture that i am the country manager i am the ceo to mere ko table par coffee chahiye aisa zaruri nahi hai so that humbleness uh, take it from me from my experience even i come from a middle class family my father retired from a government service my mother retired as a school teacher i never expected in my life that i will go to switzerland four times in a year never but believe me that humble being humble whatever status you are however money you have in your pocket it is an important virtue of life and ye sabko pata hi aap sabko whatever i am talking you all know very well main kuch nayi baat nahi bata raha hu you all know very very well time makes the difference you can spend time in the college or in house watching tv watching facebook watching instagram or you can plan ki no i will watch social media it's important main mana nahi kar raha hu even i watch but there has to be a time that okay not more than this this is the only time i'll be spending you have to manage your time whether it's studies sports reading some additional books so these are the things maybe once you grow up later then you may realize ki my god boss shayad maine us waqt when my teacher was telling me uh, renuka shivani thoda sa pad lo so then i could have later on otherwise if we do not manage time time never waits kabhi samay kisi ki wait nahi karta hai you all know it very well you are sensible mature and positive students but this is just as a brotherly advice do not miss time it never comes back now coming back to opportunities look few years ago these online pharmacy business was not there there are only few names tata 1mg we all know and besides this amazon pharmacy we all know now reliance has also come as well every person who wants to sell products online to the user to the people to the patients it is mandatory by the department of drug controller they have to have at their office at their premises at least one d pharmacy person 
इट इज मैंडेटरी ये गवर्नमेंट का रूल है एंड यू नो दैट हाउ मच बिजनेस ऑनलाइन बिजनेस इज बींग डन नो बडी कैन इमेजिन वी फील दैट की जो फार्मेसी हमारे घर के पास में है इफ वन एम जी इज एक्वायर्ड बाय थ्री मंथ गो बाय टाटा if netmeds is acquired by reliance you can very well understand that farm easy aap log sab advertisement dekhte honge and and you know how many companies how many people are selling unke liye ye mandatory hai aapko ek ek de pharmacy hire karna hi karna hai even for you can say products which are food related nutrition related after covid what has happened hum sab logon ki health concern has increased we are more concerned about our immunity we are more concerned about our health preventive health so therefore market has come up flooded with food nutrition immunity and answer products aap sabko pata hai you maybe aap mein se kuch log lete bhi honge protein supplements all those products all these products which claim to have health benefits now these are gradually coming under the uh, from the food category to drug category and once these more products are coming to drug category importance of pharmacist is going up up and up to ye segment aaj se 5 saal pehle nahi tha but now this segment tomorrow maybe this will be a bigger segment than offline offline segment and uh, another opportunities which i started in the mention that uh, more and more pharmaceutical companies earlier if you remember uh, what used to happen that uh, even still it happens that medical representatives visit the doctor clinics wo jate hain doctor se product ki baat karte hain and gradually what is happening time is becoming more and more important leading pharmaceutical companies they have they have hired pharmacy people they sit in a particular call center they are taught to speak politely how to take time they regularly call the doctors to explain about the product uske baad they share i can tell you three companies at least jinki call mujhe aati hai every week one is sanofi other is lupin which is an indian pharmaceutical company and dr reddies these three companies calls me every week for the time and they all are people from pharmacy background so therefore uh, more and more uh, opportunities are going to increase and already increasing lekin maine jaise aapko bola pehle bhi ki opportunities aur bhi aayengi but aapki commitment has to be there your learning attitude must be there you should value what you have so therefore these are the segments online pharmacy ya se 5 saal pehle nahi the these are the few examples even now i am sharing with you company called apple which come phone use karte g life sciences apple ge google google is coming in healthcare business already though we are unable to see that how come google is what will they will do i can tell you lot of digital devices connecting devices ki aap yahan par test karenge doctor will get the whole data in his mobile phone this all google is confirmed A- apple yes that is all coming up and now coming back to that uh, pharmaceutical companies in their production units uh they require chemists in different departments and these chemists are no one else they all are from pharmacy background and besides this what is happening is that regulations are getting strict and strict and once regulations are getting strict these companies uh government is becoming strict with quality control any side effect any complaint has to be reported has to be informed to the drug authorities so therefore this quality control department under every company are now a big teams 
अर्लियर देर यूज टू बी एक दो तीन चार आदमी होते थे नाउ देर बिग टीम्स बिकॉज दिज ऑल एनी कंप्लेन एनी साइड इफेक्ट हैज टू बी इन्फॉर्म टू द पर्टिकुलर ड्रग डिपार्टमेंट विद इन फोर्टी एट आवर्स मोर ओवर कोई भी प्रोडक्ट का जब आपको अप्रूवल लेना होता है देन वट यू रिक्वायर क्वालिटी सर्टिफिकेट्स दीज क्वालिटी सर्टिफिकेट्स आर लाइक सी सर्टिफिकेट टी यू वी एफ डी अप्रूवल जी एम पी ऑल दीज सर्टिफिकेट ऐसे नहीं मिल जाते हैं यू हैव टू सबमिट प्रॉपर हार्ड कॉपीज और पी डी एफ टू द पर्टिकुलर डिपार्टमेंट दैट हैज गॉट ऑल द सेफ्टी डाटा ऑल द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल डाटा देन यू गेट दिस क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड दीज टू सबमिट ऑल दीज रिकॉर्ड यू रिक्वायर फार्मेसी पीपल another big thing is because multinational companies are making this patents very very strong uh, even indian companies are now taking their own patents aap sabhi ne dekha hai that uh, on one side vaccines were launched by western companies side by side indian pharmaceutical companies also launched the vaccines at the same time of co- of covid and all these launch of vaccines or launch of products required again intellectual property rights patent attorney and these all people come from pharmacy backgrounds one more segment which is not mentioned here i must share that nowadays digital you can say platform health platform self come you just need to call the number if you need a particular advice on any medicine or any many portals have come chandigarh based gurgama based ahmedabad based so they give you uh, they charge a subscription fees of 3000 rupees and every besides doctors they have lot number of pharmacy pharmacist people who can advise who can educate either on a lifestyle either on a medicines so all these op- op- windows are the opportunity for pharmacy people and again uh, just to summarize that regulatory affairs from drug control office and scientific documentation pharmacovigilance now it is mandatory for all the hospital especially corporate hospitals to have to keep the record of every medicine prescribed in indoor any patient who is admitted hospital has to keep a record for a certain period of time and you name the hospital here gangaram hospital bl kapoor hospital and uh, you can say birla ck birla hospital jp hospital it is mandatory and i must say that ye uh, pehle department at least were not very active now the way regulations are getting very active pharmacy ki opportunity saath saath badhti ja rahi hai in all these corporate hospitals as well and for sure uh in education if you have an interest aapka studies mein teaching mein interest hai oh definitely uh as a teacher as a lecturer as a professor and pharmacy people are always sought for and uh, even besides this as a coach as a coach as a trainer uh, because many pharmaceutical companies or people or or are owned by some rich people and but they are not professional they hire professionals so everywhere the opportunities are there and uh, consultancy as i have already mentioned that gradually companies wants ki okay can we hire a consultant and we can pay a fees So these consultants की बहुत बड़ी opportunity है जी and ये तो India था जी 1.3 billion lot of opportunities but outside India जो भी आप में से interested है to go outside India you should look for that's another window that there are two kind of worlds regulated markets like US Canada Singapore and some are semi regulated markets All these Europe is very regulated. All 
I can say US is very, very regulated. Canada is very regulated, but everywhere they require for people with a pharmacy background. So lot, if people want, but commitment is everywhere needed. Openness is everywhere and uh, learning, willingness to learn. These are the mandatory things everywhere. So just to let you know, uh, many Indian companies do a very big business in Russia. Even uh, there is, I named the company Shreya Biotech. You can Google search this company's person who himself uh, is a pharmacist. He went for a job to Russia, only for a job. Then he found the opportunity in Russia. Then he started he started importing products from India. Then he launched his whole company. And now that Shreya Biotech is number one company, Indian company, eh, but is the number one company of Russia. You see a one pharmacist, how he, with a vision, with a commitment, with a passion, has become the number one company of Russia. Aap check kijiye, Google mein jake search kijiega. Indian people, Indian pharma companies in Russia. I must say that Russia may at least 60% of the healthcare business with Indian professionals or Indian companies. But uh, I must say that uh, no road is easy. Aap sochein ki sab kuch cakewalk hai life mein. Hum admission mil jayega, to humara kaam ho jayega, no way. There are, it's a tough road. Lekin, uh, there is a long road to success. Mehnat karni padegi. Main aaj bhi karta hoon ji. Even I work today even at least 16 hours a day. Isse kam to koi sawal hai nahi. People may say that, oh, oh, corporate may you have a rest every Saturday, Sunday. No way. Aisa kuch nahi hai. Bahar se dikhane ki baat ho rahe. But mehnat sab jo aapko karni padegi. It is must. Yes, aapko peech nahi bhaagna padega ki mujhe karna hai. Those days have gone. Those days have gone. Those days have gone. Those days have gone. There are rules, there are regulations. Mehnat karni padegi. Again, it, there is no shortcut. So, may, may aap sabhi se request hai. now I am coming towards the end of the presentation. जो भी आप करना चाहते हैं आप पूरा उसे सोचिए मंथन कीजिए चिंतन कीजिए रिफ्लेक्शन कीजिए एंड डिसाइड कीजिए एंड वंस यू डिसाइड देन कहते हैं अपने आप को झोंक दो उसके अंदर गो ऑल आउट डू नॉट डू एनीथिंग फॉर टाइम पास इट डज नॉट हेल्प एंड एज आई मेंशन इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द माय टॉक Nutraceutical is becoming a very big segment. Log health ke liye, they are becoming more conscious. FSSI department, food and safety department is getting more strict with regulations. They are offering new opportunities of jobs. They want people with pharmacy background, even cosmetic companies, because nowadays log bade conscious hai. they don't pick up any face cream. They read the content. They see that our skin is not bad for our Sunscreen, lotion, people just don't buy. All these products, cosmetics, FMCG, herbal products, all require people with pharmacy background. And more and more opportunities are going to grow. Whether in all these segments, besides medicine, besides hospitals, besides online. FMCG, Cosmetic and Herbal Organizations. Or pharma industry, I mean, you, bola hai, boss, ki, uh, you may feel sometimes I see people who are very averse to oh, sales, oh, marketing, oh my God. But I must tell you, even I have risen from sales and marketing. There's a huge learning. And I will tell you, boss, there's a decent money as well. In healthcare industry, आप 
अच्छा नहीं बहुत अच्छा पैसा कमा सकते हैं कंपेयर टू गोइंग टू अ बैंक डूइंग अ जॉब इन अ बैंक और डूइंग अ जॉब इन एनी अदर फील्ड इन हेल्थ केयर इज बिजनेस इज अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर बाउंड टू ग्रो एंड वंस दीज आर बाउंड टू ग्रो दे रिक्वायर प्रोफेशनल्स विद फार्मेसी बैकग्राउंड लेकिन अगर आप सिंसियर हैं यू नो हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट हाउ टू टॉक हाउ टू गिव हंड्रेड परसेंट देन स्काई इज द ओनली लिमिट so i just leave that uh, i can understand is stage of life mein you may get confused should i do mai karu nahi karu kuch fayda hoga nahi hoga aisa to nahi hai ki mere paise waste ho jayenge my request to you is that ask any questions koi bhi question hai uh, you can ask the college team you feel free aapke koi circle mein usse pooch sakte hain mere se pooch sakte hain But once you decide, once आपने अपनी इंक्वायरी पूरी कर ली है फिर आप उसमें यू जस्ट जम्प एंड डू नॉट वेट एनी थिंग सो आई होप मैं आई वॉज एबल टू आंसर और सॉल्व सम ऑफ योर क्वेरीज एंड दो आई विल नॉट मैम हाउ मच टाइम आई हैव नाउ सो मे बी नाउ फाइव मिनट यू कैन हैव यस मैम दैट इट If आप लोगों को आइडिया है दैट एनी बॉडी रीड न्यूज पेपर इफ यू रीड येस्टरडेज टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया यू ऑल नो दैट कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स चल रही है आजकल एंड इन दैट किसी ने नहीं पढ़ा है तो आप गूगल सर्च कर लीजिएगा टू डेज ए गो एन इंडियन गर्ल शी हेज वन सिल्वर मेडल इन जूडो इन कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स आई फाउंड दट स्टोरी वेरी इंस्पायरिंग even more inspiring than this story of abram lincoln so i thought i must share with you uh, she uh, she i can say her mother is working in delhi police as sub inspector and uh, you can say and she is a single parent this girl joined judo first for fun and then uh, us ladki ne judo join kiya but once she got few prizes she decided to make it a career and then once she won uh, the medal her girl ke ladki ka naam hai tulika man aap sab ja ke search kijiyega teen din pehle she has won and uh, because of some family reasons uh, her father left daughter when she was only 3 years old sirf 3 saal ki thi unke father unko chhod ke chale gaye the then this girl ne apni mehnat kar kar ke even athletic federation of india decided not to send uh, this girl for commonwealth games ye category ko hum nahi leke ja rahe hain but tulika man ki mother ne ja ke letter likha request ki thodi fight ki and then she got the permission that she can go to commonwealth games aap itni inspiring story hai aur hamari delhi ki story hai aap sabhi log jahan se bhi hain but i feel very inspiring दो दिस अनदर स्टोरी ऑफ अब्रम लिंक इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंस्पायरिंग बट ये मैं बता रहा हूं तुलिका मान ओ माय गॉड यू कैन से फादर डज नॉट स्टे विद देम एंड शी वाज स्टडीइंग हर मदर इज द ओनली पर्सन हु अर्न्स इन द फैमिली एंड एथलेटिक फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया डिसाइडेड नॉट टू सेंड दिस कैटेगरी बट तीन दिन पहले शी कॉल्ड हर मदर एट 3:30 इन द मॉर्निंग बिकॉज़ यू कैन सी द टाइम डिफरेंस एंड शी वाज क्राइंग उसके वर्डिंग थे मामा सॉरी मैं गोल्ड नहीं जीत पाई तो मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है आप सभी से हैव लर्न रीड दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज लर्न फ्रॉम दीज पीपल दी भी हमारे जैसे ही हैं शी मस्ट बी ऑफ योर एज आप जो भी स्टूडेंट्स हैं ये आई थिंक शी मस्ट बी ऑफ ट्वेंटी और ट्वेंटी फाइव के बीच की ये तुलिका मान है एंड इवन वी एज अ कंपनी डिसाइडेड दैट वी विल ऑफर हर यू कैन से स्पेशल ऑनरेरियम टू तुलिका मान so be eager boss koi bhi questions aapke ho please puchiye be eager talk to madam talk to aapke ghar mein koi answer karne wala hai koi brother hai koi cousin hai puchiye so there are many stories i can share but the motive remains same kuch bhi karna hai boss never give up himmat na hariye himmat kabhi nahi hariye ek choti si chinti hoti hai kaise mehnat karti hai itni inspire karti hai 
और हम लोग तो बहुत बहुत से बढ़िया हैं वो हैं तो इसलिए मेरी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है डू नॉट स्टॉप योर सेल्फ कीप मूविंग कीप विजय कम हैव कॉन्फिडेंस अपने ऊपर कॉन्फिडेंस रखिए अपने ऊपर विश्वास रखिए पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड रखिए और ट्राई कीजिए वह सोचिए मत हैव फेथ एंड बी ईगर बी क्यूरियस बी ओपन एंड एक अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट को ज्वाइन कीजिए एजुकेशन रिकॉर्ड अच्छा बनाइए वी ऑल कम फ्रॉम अ 1.3 बिलियन पीपल कंट्री कंपटीशन हर जगह है लेकिन हमको इसी में शाइन करना है एंड वी हैव टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ सोल्यूशन सो माय बेस्ट विशेष मेरी शुभकामनाएं मेरी बेस्ट विशेष एंड ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम मैडम थैंक यू वेरी मच टू एवरी thanks to you sir it was really wonderful talk i mean besides career prospects in pharmacy jo aapne key success to mantra bachcho ko bataye hain manthan chintan aacharan ka then you told about the care then you told about the time management humbleness and uh, besides i would also like to apprise all the audiences ki sir इतने हम्बल हैं कि ही सो सीनियर टू मी बट ही ऑलवेज टॉक जी ये अपनी हर सेंटेंस में अपनी अपनी हर एड्रेस में जी का शब्द प्रयोग करते हैं तो ये इतने हम्बल हैं इतनी हाई पोजीशन पे रह के और ये वही उसी का ही मैसेज भी दे रहे हैं सो वी आर रियली ब्लेस्ड दैट यू गिव द टॉक टुडे सो लाइक माय को होस्ट डॉक्टर शिल्पा पावा माई कलीग इज ऑल्सो हियर विद मी मामा यू देर यस यस thank you so much sir i completely agree with dr kumud your lecture was not only very informative but it was explained so you know i should say in a very simple way that students students can grasp it so easily and this talk was not only inspiring for our students but for us as well and definitely we all learnt many important insights from your talk so thank you so much once again and uh, yes we i have few questions from our students because we could uh, not enable our chat box due to some technical issues sorry for that Yes. so so the first question from a student is that uh, do we need to go for a post graduation for product development uh product development uh dekhi boss it is not mandatory uh yes if you go hota hai na ki sone par soha gaye ji but if you have a talent and uh you are even graduate agar aap sirf b pharmacy b hain and you just need a uh, a window of entering and after that even without post graduation uh at least in corporate world i must say in corporate world uh ek time ke baad uh entry mein aapko degree chahiye but after that uh, you make your own path that's very clear right that's very nice and another question from our students uh, so they're all students who are you know entering into this field so it's very new for them and they have uh, queries also related to that so another question is uh, do we need some special qualifications for entry into cdsco uh dekhi uh, cdsco mein uh, some vacancies require b pharmacy some require m pharmacy because abhi uh especially on a regulatory there is no separate course run uh, by any of the educational institutes uh, only some private but otherwise uh, cdsco ask for b pharmacy or m pharmacy for different posts right and after that yes agar aap mein thodi si ichha hai aap karna chahte hain then definitely aap log uh, regulatory field mein uh, you can read books so then you learn in the department that how the application is to be screened approval should be screened they then teach you yeah right i would like to add so that we have several online courses also available on regulatory now in portals like swayam and nptel so students you know out it's free of cost they just have to pay the examination fees and uh, these courses are also very nicely and freely available in uh, these portals as well And ma'am, do you have some course on uh, regulatory side as well? Yeah, we have, sir, uh, like uh, Dipsuru, which is a Delhi University Pharmacy Institute uh, in Delhi. So okay. that institute is having M Pharm in regulatory science, sir. Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, I know, so, it's a most big opportunity. Hai. Just absolutely. to share with you, medical devices in India were not earlier under drugs. Right. But first October onwards, these all nebulizers, thermometers, glucometers. 
uh, are coming under drug now means okay. drug they are coming means every company healthcare company has to submit an application okay means all documentation right badi opportunity is opening absolutely yeah. and that too in dips through so i guess students have a great opportunity after b farm they can plan for you know specializations in such courses even iprm they have opening m farm and ipr also so there are many many specializations which are now being opened in m farm so students can definitely avail this opportunity no no that's going to be huge ma'am you to aap my request is please highlight this sure sir yeah, that's a very good thing definitely uh, i would request kumud ma'am to take up the yeah, further thank questions you. thank you ma'am sir i do also have a query like what is the difference is there exists between uh, medical writing and scientific writing uh, ma'am uh, assume that medical writing mein kya hai ma'am when it comes to on the medical aspects of you can say either any drug any product right uske jo medical aspects are that when people related to medical things medical aspects pe likhte hain aap that is there but aap uske agar uh, likhte hain ma'am in terms of scientific that uh, besides medical you add that uh, on the uh, pathogenesis aur uski puri usko likhte hain tab is become uh, scientific writing besides this uh, when you write for journals बिकॉज हमारे नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर के दो जर्नल्स आते हैं एक जर्नल में मैम इट इज वेयर इट इज ऑन अ मेडिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड अदर इज ऑन साइंटिफिक एस्पेक्ट दीज आर द अगेन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फंड करती है तो ये दो डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट हैं बट मे बी आई कैन शेयर वन वन कॉपी ऑफ बोथ जर्नल्स विद यू एंड देन यू विल गिव अ बेटर आइडिया that will be really nice of you sir yes, so moving towards the end of this session sir we would like to present this uh, token of appreciation uh, uh, like virtual certificate and uh, we'll be mailing it to you for your kind presentation and the time you have really taken out of your busy schedule and we're really thankful to have you amassed us for this session